Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Zoho Books. This is a financial application that will help you track invoices, expenses, payments, bank accounts, and a lot more. All right, let's get started. Here we are in the dashboard, and this is the first page that opens when you log into Zoho Books. You can see that here we have some widgets, and these widgets are customizable. And they are also clickable, so for example, you can click here and it will open a report showing more information about that graphic. Let's go back. And the same happens with the other graphics. You can just click on any of them and it will open the report. On the left side of the screen, we have the navigation bar that you will use to access the different modules of Zoho Books. And on the top right corner, you have your notifications, the setup, as well as your profile picture. And here we have this button that says getting started, where you're going to find a lot of tutorials about Zoho Books which might be really helpful when you're starting with Zoho Books and you want to do the initial setup. All right, now let's go to the menu here and I'm gonna open the items. And here you will have the products or services that you sell. Zoho Books integrates with Zoho Inventory. So if you already use Zoho Inventory, all your products are gonna sync automatically here. In banking, you have all your bank accounts. In this case, I have a checking account, a PayPal account, as well as Stripe account. You can use PayPal or Stripe to process online payments. All the transactions from your bank accounts are going to sync automatically, but then you're going to have to categorize them manually. You can also set up some automations to do this automatically. In sales is where your customers, estimates, invoice, and payments are going to be. Here I have some customers, and then I don't use estimates, but you can create estimates from here. And then we have invoices. And to create an invoice, you can just click on this plus button right here or click on the plus here on new. And then you can select the customer and add any items here. And then Soho Books is going to do all the calculations for taxes and total amounts. If you want, you can attach files here and add some terms and conditions. And you can also allow online payments. Once you're done, you can click on save and send and this is going to send the invoice. All right, next we have purchases. And here you can find the vendors, expenses, bills, and payments made. So for example, if I open the expenses, it's going to show me the list of my expenses. Next, we have time tracking. And this is the module you're going to use to track time. So we have two categories, projects, where all your projects are going to be. And in this case, I have an integration with Zoho project. So all the projects are created automatically. And then we have time sheets, where you're going to see a list of all the time entries that you or your employees created. Again, in my case, I have it synced with Zoho Projects, so I do all the time tracking there, but you can track time here as well. You can just click on the start button here and it will start tracking time for you. This is really helpful because once you have the time here, you can invoice clients directly really easily. All right, next we have the accountant section and this is for your accountant where he or she will be able to do manual journals, bulk updates, budgets, and more. And I wanted to point out that the chart of accounts is where you have all your accounts and here you can add new ones or edit them in case you want to customize your accounts. In the reports tab, you can find a lot of predefined reports like profit and loss, the sheet balance and more. But you can also create your custom reports from the ones in here and they will show up here in the custom reports tab. Also, Soho Books syncs with Zoho Analytics, so you can do some advanced analytics here in this tab. All right, now let's check out the settings because there are a lot of options here. So let me open the settings, clicking here and then here. And in organization profile is where you're going to be able to change all the information about your company. Then we have opening balances. And this is when you're starting with Zoho Books, you can add opening balances here. Here you can change your users and roles. And then we have preferences where we have a lot of more options. In general, you can enable or disable modules that you want to see. Then we have branding for the invoices, then a portal for your customers if you want to set it up. And then we also have preferences for, for example, the items. And here we can customize the items only, as well as the estimates or invoices. And then we have the expenses or bills and even projects or timesheets. In currencies, you can add or add new currencies. In taxes, you can enable sales tax if you sell products. Another thing that you can customize are templates. So for example, here we have the invoice templates and if you open it, you can see how the invoice is going to look like and you can also make all the changes you need so it looks exactly how you want it. You can also have multiple templates per invoice, for example, and you can also customize your estimates, credit notes, payments receipts and more. 
And we can do the same with emails here. So every time we send, for example, an invoice, we send it with an email. So you can customize here the invoice notification. And if I open it, this is how it's gonna look like for the client. And here's where you can customize it. And as you can see, we have a lot of options here as well. You can customize all of them. Then we have online payments here, and this is where you can set up your online payment getaways. And finally, I wanted to show you integrations. Zoho Books integrates with a lot of Zoho apps like Zoho CRM, Begin, Zoho Projects, and Zoho Sign. So if you already use some Zoho apps, you're gonna have a really good time with Zoho Books. But it also integrates with other apps like Filing Taxes, as well as Slack, Square, Zapier, and more. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have other videos about Zoho products on this channel, so feel free to check them out. I will leave a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching.